It always surprises me how fast life changes. At the beginning of January, I had no job and thought it would be great to have so much time to read and write and sleep, but I ended up feeling a little like I was lost. It is not in my nature to be idle, and I definitely realized this when the random bit of depression hit me at the beginning of the month, and now here we are, closing out the month of January. I got the job I wanted, I read 10 books, I wrote more words in my book, I couldn't see how this month would turn out, and I hope that if you are in that place right now where you can't see everything getting better, it does get better. Brighter, happier, there are more books to read, friends to laugh with, music to listen to, delicious food to eat, movies to watch, memories to create. There's so much more to come. Good or bad, shine or storm, whatever's to come, let it. Hey guys, so I am doing another daily vlog today. Um, just took y'all with me throughout my entire Saturday. The good thing about my new job is that I... Did I tell you I got the job? I don't know. I mentioned in one of my videos that I was doing an interview, but um, I got the job. So I have a new job. It's kind of a lot. I've been working um, Monday through Friday. This was my first week, but it's more than I'm used to. Like I used to not work every single day throughout the week. So I'm still getting adjusted. Sorry, bear with me on my uploading schedule. It's going to be kind of weird. But anyway, this Saturday I happen to go to another bookstore again because I don't know. It's just the weekly thing it's the thing to do on the weekends so this weekend we went to my old job when i worked at a bookstore and the town like next to my town so that was fun and i got a book there i didn't vlog because i was catching up with my old co-worker my friend Catherine, who i love and i've been missing and i just felt so like left out i felt like honestly the bookstore just moved on without me and it was just sad but you know what it's for the better it's whatever you know it's what had to happen but I have some exciting things to share with you guys in this daily vlog really quick. vlog i said daily vlog daily vlog really quick so first thing i want to share with you guys is that i got some book mail um the other day and i want to share with you guys so i was like let me just include it in this um daily vlog so it's this giant box <laughs> that was my address okay i got three books and they are all from julie the gift note says andrew congratulations on your wedding and on 5k i hope 2022 is the best year ever for you and your channel xoxo from julie so julie if you're watching this which i'm pretty sure you are thank you so much you are literally the sweetest person ever like you're so nice you do not have to send me anything ever and i've noticed that you do a lot and i just i love you so much and i appreciate it so much my channel appreciates it so much you know i'm just so grateful and you are insane for doing this but let me show everyone what i got from julie that i literally screamed was so excited about and i had to share it so first book that julie got me was jade fire gold by june cl10 i don't want to mess it up okay i'm not gonna even try because i don't want to mess it up i've heard so much about this book recently and this spine look how pretty that spine is i'm really excited to read it it's basically about these two characters i think one is named Anne and one is alton maybe it's on i don't know how to pronounce that exactly but they both kind of have to work together to restore their empire and they both have like their own backstories and their own like shit going on so i'm very excited it's a young adult fantasy you know i love those and i've just heard great things so i'm excited i think it's going to be a really good book and i can't wait to get to it now the next one i got is kingdom of the cursed by carrie maniscalco the second book in the kingdom of the wicked trilogy or i don't know how many books it's going to be but this is book two i just finished book one um if you don't know i have a whole book club where we read kingdom of the wicked in january so if you haven't checked it out link is in the description you can find my video announcing it and all the links and all that but our first book was kingdom of the wicked and i will share my thoughts in my wrap up at the end of this month but i really did enjoy the book overall and the ending was good it made me want to read the next one and my friend alex read the second book this one she said it was really good. There was a lot more growth in the main character and the love interest, like, in relationship. Like, it just, like, added on a lot more, delved into more stuff, more secrets were revealed and stuff like that. So, really excited and I can't wait. I honestly want to pick this up, like, right now. I also love this blue color. Like, this is kind of, like, my favorite color. Like, the light blues, teals. I love that so much. 
So yeah, I am so excited to get this one and we'll probably be picking it up like early next month. Final book I got is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare and you're all are probably like, Andrea, why do you have that? Why did you get another copy? And the reason is I actually don't have the hardcover of City of Bones, which makes no sense because it's the first one. But when I started reading these books, I found the first book like at a used bookstore and it was the paperback. So I never had this one. It was actually the movie cover. It was this one. When I read City of Bones, I read it like this. So my introduction to the world was like very different than obviously having the hardcover or having the this one, the main cover. I don't know. But I just haven't found this one and haven't got a chance to get it. So it's going to go on my Shadowhunter shelf and it's going to be perfect. I finally have all of them in hardcover. And it's literally completing my collection. And this, when I saw this one, I freaked out because I, as a collector, as somebody who loves Shadowhunters, I have been dying like on the inside to get this book and complete my collection. So now that I have... Julie, like I said, I love you for that because I'm so happy to finally have it. I feel like I'm at peace now. So that's what I got. Moving on, let me share with you guys what I got today. So I went to the bookstore. We also went to Target. You saw us acting like fools at Target, throwing Squishmallows around. I should have bought a Squishmallow. I really wanted one. Maybe I will get a Squishmallow in the future, but I didn't today. But I did get these. These are two like ceramic bowls. I was gonna take one to my office at work because I have an office now and then leave one on my desk here and maybe put candy in it or something. I don't know. But these were in the Target dollar section, which they were $3. So whatever, $3 section. And I don't know, they're from the Valentine's collection. I think they're so cute. So very excited about those. Before I show you the book I got, I did also get some other mail. This is a pre-order gift. Um, from when I pre-ordered Our Violent Delights, I think? Our Violent Ends, I can't get it right. But this is from Chloe Gong. I'm looking for my, this right here. So yeah, let's see what I got. I actually kind of forgot what this pre-order was. I don't know. Guys, this is hard. Oh, I don't want to cut the thing. Did I cut the thing? Alright, that's gonna be good enough. So, here's what I got for pre ordering. I just threw this down and my dog just walked right next to it. That's actually child endangerment, I mean, pet endangerment. So, here we go. Here's what I got for pre ordering two art prints. These are so gorgeous. I don't think these are spoilers, but look at this one. And this one is Roma and Juliet. And it's a knife to the throat scene. That's okay. Low key, let me be real. I started Our Violent Ends and I got like 100 pages in. And I wanted DNF. I kind of DNF'd it. I started it this in December and I totally DNF'd it. And I feel so bad. Is this scene in there? Is this a scene? Somebody tell me. I will get to the scene and read it. Um, I still have the book. I low key did like a kind of DNF. So I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Okay, there's that, and one more thing. Well, let me show you the book I got today. Um, oh, my friend, Sarah, I had read The Love Hypothesis. I'm gonna talk about this in my wrap up. I have a lot to say, a lot to say. Don't wanna say too much, but we swapped books um, for Christmas where I edit, I edited. I annotated one of her favorite books. She annotated one of my favorite books. Spoiler alert, this is my new favorite book, but she wrote in it, like highlighted, wrote notes i can't wait to read everything she wrote i'm gonna reread this honestly i already started rereading it um where's my bookmark yeah i already started rereading it but um she said she gave this back to me finally because um she's had it for like a week or two and i just have been dying to get it back so finally got that back but the book that i picked up from the bookstore to share this with you guys is reminders of him by colleen hoover now y'all are probably thinking who is this? What did they do with Andrew Reads? Because she reads fantasy. Well, I loved It Ends With Us so much that I was like, Colleen Hoover put out a new book. I should buy it. Like, I don't know too much about this one. I figured that the best thing to do with Colleen Hoover is to go in completely blind. That's what I did with It Ends With Us and I want to do that again. So I don't know too much. I just know this is like an adult fiction and it has some like heavy topics from what I've heard. So again, I don't know exactly what it's about. I don't know if it's happy or doesn't seem happy from what I've seen like on TikTok and stuff, but I'm gonna read this. If you've read it, let me know what you thought. 
please don't spoil me but let me know if you liked it so I'm gonna read it soon but I also um have been reading a arc a very special arc that I am so happy to have and that book is by Sabah Tahir. It's All My Rage and I am loving it. I got an e-arc from Penguin Teen and I, as soon as I got it, I freaked out and it's on my net galley shelf. And I've been reading it on my phone, which I never do. Like I haven't read a book on my phone since I was obsessed with reading the like unfinished version of Midnight Sun on the PDF form. Like I, <laughs> that's the last book, I, last book I read on my phone. So it's kind of weird, but I'm loving it so much. I'm on chapter seven, I think, and the characters are great. Hope y'all like these daily vlogs. I don't know if y'all actually like them. Let me know, but um, I kind of like them. Um, so I feel like I'm gonna keep doing them. I don't know whether y'all like them or not. You're getting them, <laughs> but that's all I have to say.